Hi Aries, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another love read. Aries, let's see how you're feeling now, how your person is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And Aries, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you. Leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. All right, Aries, newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies, etc. If this is your reading, Aries, you'll know which side you resonate best with, right? For me, for me, this is going to be person A here and person B here. Bottom of my deck, I have the strength card in reverse. Well, I guess somebody doesn't have the strength to come forward. I'm a bit scared, I feel. I don't know. There's a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. I think one person is saying, I wasn't emotionally happy in this connection. I have lost my love for the other person. I was taken for granted. The other person is a little worried. They're scared. I mean, it's like having sleepless nights regarding either an argument or a fight or something that happened between the two of you. Uh, let's uh, clarify these cards, of course, Aries. But first, we couldn't do your dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be. And then I'll clarify these. Aries and their person spirit. Aries and their person, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Aries and their person. Okay, let's take a few more Aries from another deck. Aries and that person, if they could say something to each other now, spirit, what would that be? Aries and that person. One more, thank you. And just a few more Aries from a third deck as well. And then we can start the reading. Aries and that person. Aries and that person. All right, Aries, let's start the reading. Uh, and if any of you are looking for personal readings, Aries, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. The first card says, I'm working through issues with my family. I'm overwhelmed with obligations. There is more to this than I'm able to share with you right now. I'm healing my, my heart from past hurt. Give me some time. Don't let my arrogance fool you. I feel unworthy. I thought the grass was going to be greener on the other side, but it wasn't. I've been hurt so badly. I don't think I can ever really love again. It doesn't feel right being apart from you. Secretly doing things behind your back. I tend to look at your social media pages waiting on signs to connect with you. I have so much to say to you. I'm shutting you out. I need you to need me like I need you. I appreciate the lessons you taught me. I could never forget about you. All right, Aries, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating, let's start the reading. But uh, of course, our, our angel blessing card first, right? Let's see what my angels have for my Aries gang. As a blessing, guidance, advice, or a message, love. Well, you're being blessed with a lot of love in your life, Aries. So I don't know what's happening in this particular connection, but my angels are sending you a huge dose of love right now. So that's your blessing for today. And now let's see what's happening in this connection. Uh, Aries, I'm going to start with person A's energy and newcomers. Uh, don't get confused, okay? For me, for me, this is person A, this is person B. 
if this is your reading you'll immediately connect which side you're on i don't know which side you're on whether aries is here or aries is there or whether you're a man or a woman it really doesn't matter these are just two souls for me who are energetically connected to each other i could also be picking up on the same sex couples as well right it is a general reading so but if this is your reading you'll immediately pick up aries which side you're on so person a let's start with your feelings emotions uh, for this connection uh, you seem to be a bit unhappy with the nine of cups in reverse why why the nine of cups in reverse yeah person a says none of my emotional uh, wishes came true here i mean none of my cups were filled by my person i was emotionally drained out taken for granted and that's the reason um kala taro i decided to get unstuck from this connection queen of cups in reverse queen of cups in yeah queen of cups is feeling that uh, well my person never loved me this if this was a soulmate connection it was a karmic one it's over i'm done and over i i mean i've lost my love for this person now because um, they never treated me like a soulmate in fact they haven't even uh, you know we haven't even talked for so long we've stopped talking to each other from my side it's over yeah see uh ten of wands in reverse it's like one person has totally given up saying i was tired of carrying all the baggage in this connection all the emotional weight of this connection was on my shoulders finally i realized that this can't be a soulmate right they're supposed to be carrying half the weight when we are uh, together as soulmates in the connection so that means uh, if i'm going to be carrying all the weight then well i'm out i'm done Why do you feel this way? Of course, you've told me, but I need to ask you that question. Um, uh, person A, why, how, how did you come to that conclusion that it's over and uh, you have to get unstuck and this contract, soulmate contract, is should be over now? Why, like, how did you come to that con conclusion? Uh, two of Swords in Reverse. Okay, what's the Two of Swords in Reverse? You made a. Okay, person A says. things were very stagnant for a very long time om kara taro they were not making up their mind so i had to make up make up the decision for us i've made up my mind that yes this is the end of a cycle i don't want to repeat a pattern because my person they were never emotionally open they lied to me they were rude to me they were um emotionally not available to me and uh, well i'm i've made i've made up my mind that i'm shutting down this chapter once and for all this soulmate con contract is just got too many bad memories attached to it now and it should be over now because all they do is make me angry all the time right so yeah so person a tell me how do you feel about the connection now how do you see person b how do you feel about the connection seven of swords in reverse person a says i caught them telling lies to me om kara taro doing things that they shouldn't um, they were uh, petty they were irritating they were uh, immature they were gossiping um, basically i felt humiliated i never felt seen in this connection it was always like they wanted to be one up and they were always making me feel not good enough they were behaving like a player they all they wanted was the passion and uh, i i don't want a connection where it's only passion based and you know somebody i want victory with my person i want to feel a bond with my person and uh, my person they they were not putting in any work at all they didn't put in any effort any work and that's the reason i made up my mind to block them yes person a says i have uh, turned my back on them omkara taro because they took my love for granted in fact i've uh, come to you know coming to terms with this so much that it doesn't even stress me anymore after i've made my made up my mind i'm finally free i'm no longer having stress stress and sleepless nights and wondering where they are what they are doing uh, because i'm not waiting for them to make any decision i am making the decision for myself now okay so person a this is your action card this is your final action uh, whether towards person b or in your own life which i'm going to open later let's go on to the other side and see how person b is feeling about this decision that you've made so person b let's talk to you now uh, what's the five of wands and why are you stressed out about it why i mean person b is the one now i think having those sleepless nights and stress and tension why is that 
Uh, five of Wands. What's the Five of Wands? I guess you guys had a... Oh, they I mean, come on. Person A had the Nine of uh, Cups in reverse. Person B has it in the same position. They're not happy about things either. They're not emotionally happy either because they feel that uh, things are just going backwards. Maybe you guys had an argument. You guys had a fight. I think person B really does want a second chance but they're very very stressed out yeah they are very worried that uh, this is over right they feel person has all made a firm decision yes they've made that you know final choice and uh, they've ended things with them uh, give me the nine of swords please why are you worried tell me in your own words nine of swords person b says okay one second give me more give me more Okay, so person B feels things are just not coming into balance. Uh, things are, um, I mean, there is no equal give and take. There's no balance left. Person B is also very worried because person B feels person A stopped putting in work. Person A says they were not putting in work. Person B say, is worried because person A is not putting in work. I think they're also a little worried that uh, person A has a lot of new options now or, um, you know, maybe has other suitors or something. Am I, am I right person B? Is that what you're worried about? Give me one more. What's the seven of cups? Seven of cups. Yeah, they feel, uh, they feel like a fool for not having stepped up for uh, earlier. They feel like a fool. Like, why didn't I step up earlier? I could have had this chance with person A. And now they're very, very insecure because they feel uh, person A has ended things with them. They have other suitors now. And it's person B now who's realizing that maybe person A was the one who was doing all the work. We saw that already, right? Person A says, I was doing all the heavy lifting in this connection. I've dropped it. I think person B probably got used to that. And now they are stressed out because, well... Um, they're not seeing person A doing what they were doing earlier. So in their mind, they are now stressed out that, oh my God, oh my God, maybe person A has other people now or maybe there are other people fighting for them or they have options and feeling they're feeling very insecure, feeling very, very foolish, feeling they may not uh, get uh, this new beginning with person A. Am I right, person B? How do you feel? Tell me. Temperance in reverse. Yeah, they're feeling things are totally out of balance. Uh, things are just not healing between the two of you because person A has taken their power back. They, they've cut them out of, uh, person B says, person A has cut, them up, cut me out of their life. They have strong boundaries up. They have their sword up. Yes, Omkhara Taro, they've dropped me like a, like a hot brick or something or a, whatever. They've just kind of given up on me. Uh, ten of Wands, Ten of Wands. I think person B does want to return because they they are seeing person A as their happiness even now. Person B is still wanting to have this happiness return back to person A, but they're not sure whether their offer will be good enough or will it be even accepted. Will their apology or offer be accepted now? Mm, why why do you feel this way, person B? Tell me. Tell me more. Give me more on the ten of wands in reverse. Because you guys are not talking. I think person B has no clarity about where person A is at, what they're doing, are they, you know, with somebody else. Person B doesn't want to be the first one to talk, I guess, because maybe they still have a little bit of ego and pride and they don't want to kind of look like a loser, uh, saying, you know, if they rush in with an offer and what if they get uh, they at the losing end basically I, I don't think person B wants to lose so well, you have to take a chance on that person B you can't uh, you know give me one more yeah person B is in alone they are in hermit mode I think both of you are kind of mirroring each other person A feels person B is not talking, person B feels person A is not talking and uh, this is a, actually an equal match. This is the high priestess to the um, hermit, right? So person B is a little worried that person A is not talking to them but they are also in isolation trying to figure things out. 
uh, what are you trying to figure out person B tell me how do you see the connection now how do you see person A how do you feel about the connection justice what's the justice card justice justice uh, person B is almost kind of feeling that person A has taken their, taken their power back somewhere I don't know they're kind of feeling that maybe they got what they deserved because they got dropped because of their bad behavior of the past uh, they may probably were selfish person B were you selfish were you self-centered uh, I think they're kind of feeling that it's, it's like when they've been in hermit mode, they're recognizing why person A is holding back. It's almost like saying, yeah, you know what, person A is doing right for themselves. And uh, they probably see me as a selfish person who, it's kind of being revealed to them. I think this, the more person A is not talking to person B, it's being revealed to them as to why. Why has person A kind of pulled back? Uh, what's the tower, uh, sorry, the uh, devil? What's the devil? What's the devil? They're scared. Person B is the one who's scared. Person B feels that they've lost out on a big opportunity of love. They feel person A sees them as toxic. That's why they're not fighting for this connection anymore. And person B is very worried that they've lost out on a happily ever after now. Right? So, well, let's see what actions you guys will take then. I'm going to take another deck for this one. And uh, Aries, if you could just tap the like button for me, please, would really help the channel and uh, make me happy as well. Thank you. And newcomers, repeating viewers, uh, do subscribe, share, like, join the Omkara family. We welcome you in. So person A, let's start with you. Uh, any action from your end towards person B or otherwise? Ten of Pentacles. What's the Ten of Pentacles? Do you want that with person B or uh, what is it? Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Three of Wands, the Moon and the Empress. Ooh. Ten of Pentacles again. I think person B has turned their back to person B at least. Person A has turned their back. I don't know. They're heading towards a lot of prosperity. <laughs> I, uh, this this person is kind of not chasing. They are uh, sitting and attracting something wonderful for themselves. They're keeping quiet about their moves. They are not chasing. They are attracting in the best things ever. I mean, this is four of wands, ten of pentacles. With the ten of pentacles is like everything and more. Right? So... I think when they think about person B, they do get a bit emotional. But then it's like when they remember the conflict, the fighting or whatever you guys had. That, that's what's pushing person A to manifest elsewhere or maybe with themselves. Maybe trying to gain some financial security, stability and whatever said and done person A is very confident right now they're doing well they're doing well or they are about to do really well uh, yes they have emotions for person B but they are turning their back now saying I'm not going to chase them I don't want to fight for this connection yes I had emotions for them but there was just too much conflict person A knows their worth and they're not going to settle for anything less than what they are manifesting which is everything which is absolutely everything and long term so person B, tell me what about you? Action from your end towards person A or otherwise. Ace of Cups. What's the Ace of Cups? How is that an action? Will you go offer it to person A? Or are you worried that they are going offer it to new love or something? What's the Ace of Cups? How is that an action, person B? How is that an action? Oops. How's the Ace of Cups in action? The Emperor. The Magician. All right. And the Ace of Cups again. No wonder the love card came by the angels as well. 
oh my god this person is madly in love whoever this person is aries i don't know who this person is whether this is you or your cross watcher they are madly in love with person a person b is madly in unconditional love for person a they look at the amount of love ace of cups ace of cups they are manifesting person a back in their life big time magician energy they they're coming back they're coming back as an emperor they're coming back as an emperor because they can't take their eyes off the empress who they have unconditional love for wow okay spirit that shook me as well but why is this 10th card in reverse then overall energy for aries today uh strength card in reverse why is the strength card in reverse for aries reading with such a beautiful outcome okay the sun eight of pentacles knight of swords page of swords i think this person is coming yes they abs oh yes i said they're coming and i got the chariot out they are coming this person sees person i think this is person b who sees person a as their happiness they, they told me that earlier as well when the sun card came out earlier as well right so person b says i see person a they are my happiness they are my everything yes person a could be busy working on their own selves but they don't realize that the other person is going to be heading towards them very very soon they have been watching person a forever they've been spying they've been watching they've been taking notes they've been planning uh, i have a feeling it's not going to be long before they rush towards person a and this time round they're coming with everything on the table it's like i'm your emperor you're my empress uh, i have not one big cup of love for you but two ace of cups twice right so anything else spirit this is so exciting Oh spirit says well the chapter is not shut down yet <laughs> okay so okay tell me tell me tell me more tell me more give me a few more cards for aries today anything else you'd like to tell aries about and that person three more cards please judgment yes somebody wants a second chance aries somebody wants a second chance here okay Death and rebirth. There is a chance to put an end to the past and have a total transformation, or at least that's what somebody is wishing for. They want a second chance. They want to transform this connection and justice. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra. Uh, some somebody wants to make things right. They want to make things right. They want to transform this connection. If only that person will give them a second chance. But this time round, they're coming all guns blazing. all guns blazing i've never seen so many positive and spirit you give give aries a love card as well i thought this was you mm, giving them a lot of love but what is this why is the love card here for this particular reading for aries today what's the love card i never i never clarify a angel blessing card but this one is oh six of wands it's going to be a lot of victory in love aries lot of victory in love whether it is the offer is accepted or not some of you may some of you may not but uh, yes yeah, so like spirit says somebody is uh, really missing the other person there's a lot of sadness there's a feeling of feeling left out in the cold feeling abandoned so what spirit is saying yes there is victory ahead of you in love some of you may choose to hold back depends on your personal you know circumstances as well some of you could be pleasantly surprised that the other person is now ready may or may not be accepted i don't know that of course a personal reading would be better for you but uh, overall i see a lot of a uh, lot of you will be getting an offer from somebody who has unconditional love there is love coming for you even the angels have kind of backed that today in the reading there is love ahead of you aries so some of you who have been feeling lost and feeling there's nobody around there has been somebody who's been watching you who's been you know constantly kept their eye on you and well there is love coming all right that's what i have for you till next time then love and light take care namaste